I'm Homero Pulaski here from Red Hat Consulting. I'm here with Nando Ellis, also from Red Hat Consulting. And today we're going to talk really briefly about Red Hat OpenStack Platform, what it is, how to use it, and the benefits you could see from it. Nando, you excited? I'm very excited, Homero. Uh, but to be honest, I've never actually used OpenStack before. I was wondering, could you tell me a bit about uh, what it is and who would usually use it? Definitely. So Red Hat OpenStack Platform is an open source software project with its goal being that end users can deploy their own on-premise cloud. End users are able to use this cloud in any way that they like. End users may be your own team members, it could be other teams in your organization, or it could even be people out in the public that utilize your cloud resources. It really is up to you how you use it. Wow, that sounds really cool. What are some of the benefits I get from hosting my own cloud? Right, so there are a lot of benefits to having your own on-premise cloud. One of the benefits could be increased security. You own control over everything that's going in and out of your cloud. Another benefit could be flexibility. You own the hardware that your cloud is deployed on, so you can easily make changes to it. Another benefit could even be in decreased time to deployment. Instead of maybe taking days or weeks to get your virtual machines, it could be done in minutes or even seconds. Uh, so let's say I have my own OpenStack install. I have the cloud. What do I, how do I go about using it? Is there a CLI or a GUI? Yeah, so OpenStack is really API driven. There is a COI that interacts with the API. There is also a GUI that interacts with the API. And the API is really what controls all the resources that make up the cloud. Uh, the GUI is very easy to use. It's called Horizon. You can log into it from a web dashboard and create your own virtual machines, your own block storage, anything that you like. Nice. That sounds really useful. So uh, what are some of these services that come with it? So there are a lot of core services that make up OpenStack. Some of those services that we're going to talk about are Neutron, Nova, Ironic, Swift, Cinder, Keystone, and Glance. So talking really briefly about Nova, Nova is a compute service, and that's what you would use to spin up your virtual machines. So you could spin up one virtual machine. You could spin up many. It's really up to you how many you, you go with. Nice. And uh, what if I need to network those machines? So we have Neutron. Neutron is networking as a service. Neutron allows you to create your own networks, your own subnets, provide those networks and subnets to your virtual machines. And it's even ready to be multi-tenant, so each network and subnet could be isolated from each other. Oh, and if I have object files that I need to share between those? So there's something called Swift. Swift is object storage in the cloud. Swift allows you to upload maybe tar files or zip files into the cloud. Swift would return you a URL, and you could then access that URL to download that object easily. You could share that URL with anyone that you like. It's very easy. Cool. And how does that work with Cinder? Cinder is block storage. So Cinder allows you to create lots of volumes, define what the volumes look like. Maybe you have a small volume, one gigabyte, or maybe you have a large one terabyte volume. And you can even change the underlying service provider that provides a volume. Maybe you can have fast storage, or you could have slow storage. It's really neat. And I've worked with customers that have really hardened images. Uh, how would that work into this? So Glance. Glance allows you to upload your virtual machine images into the cloud. They could be just bare bones images, right? So maybe a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 with nothing custom about it. Or you could even harden your images, customize it, then upload it in the Glance so that when you deploy a new virtual machine from that image, it's already ready to go and provisioned. You don't have to do any more customization to it. Wow, great, thanks. This sounds really informative. I can really see how it could be useful to a business. How do I go about getting started with OpenStack? So to get started with OpenStack, you can reach out to your Red Hat account executive, or you could even go to redhat.com services to find out more information and go from there. Thanks.